we are convinced that software defined networking has to be realized through programmability. In order to appreciate the kind of efforts that have gone in over the decade, uh, let's start with looking at some open source projects uh, in this particular domain. So we'll start off with some background, then we look at the operations. First of all, we start with OpenStack. OpenStack is basically um, an open source um, cloud software development platform. Uh, it is actually meant to allow the users, whether retail or uh, service providers, to implement services uh, at larger scale. Uh, the URL actually has all the details on OpenStack, the code which is publicly available. It consists of interrelated components to actually orchestrate, in other words, uh, manage the diverse range of uh, computing resources, um, storage, networking, etc., uh, coming in from a pool of uh, multiple vendors. Uh, the users interact with this uh, OpenStack environment through um, web-based uh, interface, a command line interface on uh, certain um, proprietary softwares, uh, and then uh, particularly uh, web services which are available in uh, RESTful uh, API format. So let's look at a very typical example of uh, resource virtualization, or we say server virtualization for network function uh, virtualization. So on the left-hand side, we see that we've got uh, uh, compute node one, uh, compute node two, um, which are physical, physically different machines. Uh, each of these are running certain virtual machines and uh, virtual routers and firewalls and a switch. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the environment which is connected to physical router and a firewall. So to begin with, if we look at uh, the interaction between two virtual machines, if these two virtual machines are uh, hosted on the same physical server, uh, since they are these have been virtualized, so if VM1 wants to send something to VM2, it would be routed through the virtual switch, which is uh, uh, created or uh, realized on the same physical server. On the right hand side, the same scenario is now being extended where virtual machine one wants to communicate with virtual machine four. In this case, the two virtual switches would be forwarding the traffic to the external part of their network. That is the virtual switch is going to send over to the physical switch and then back to the virtual switch of compute node two. So this leads us to uh, the concept of network virtu function virtualization that we already have seen in our preceding lectures, but here we are going to look at it again. So broadly speaking, uh, the functionality can be broken up into core and service. In core, it deals with the connectivity aspects of the virtual machines primarily at uh, layer two. Uh, then at the service uh, level functionality, uh, the networking devices such as routers, firewalls, etc., are realized. So we have basically two constructs, the network and the subnet part. Uh, the command line interface, which is available in OpenStack uh, or its web-based equivalent, uh, such networks and subnets could be created. And each subnet or network is going to have its own virtual machines instantiated, which are assigned or binded to appropriate networks. This uh, uh, leads us to uh, the another project or another initiative known as the Open V switch. So it is the virtualization of a physical switch. OVS, in brief, is basically a multi-layer virtual switch. So it means uh, it could go on to uh, upper layers as well, starting off at the layer two. Uh, the Git repository with all the details uh, is available here in the URL. Um, now, this open virtual switch or OVS is deployed in uh, virtualized environments at uh, the layer two, layer three for forwarding, that is IP-based forwarding, and then some access control uh, features are also implemented. This open v switch project also supports quality of service and handling traffic aggregates. So this is actually uh, the um, bird's eye view of how the uh, OpenV switch um, communicates with the 
uh, SDN controller uh, or the uh, management entity and uh, how this uh, uh, is implemented in the forwarding element kernel. So we have the uh, open V switch daemon that communicates uh, using uh, open flow protocol with the uh, controller. It communicates with the uh, database server using the open virtual switch database protocol and then it uh, implements the policies on the uh, forwarding element or the kernel module. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, different uh, interfaces are provided for the uh, open v switch uh, daemon to communicate with respective entities. I have taken the resources uh, from uh, uh, Sriram and Vuruganti Software Defined Networking with OpenStack implementation. Uh, this book was published by Packet Publish Publishing back in 2016.